Hey guys, today I thought I would do some sketching on my little balcony at home and also to show you how I do a simple sketch in pen and watercolor. Whenever I'm feeling uninspired and stuck, it's usually because I've been cooped up inside for too long. I get this feeling of restlessness and even uselessness, yet I still can't get myself off the couch to go out and do something. So I thought, hey, why don't I sketch on the balcony where there is sunlight and fresh air? I don't have to leave my house, but I'm still getting some sun and hopefully getting myself unstuck and motivated to do things again. Whenever I sketch freehand with a pen, I try to start with a section that I feel comfortable with first, usually the part with the easiest structure. I draw out all the basic shapes and add in the small details later. With sketching, it's really important to get the big picture right because it's not about how accurate it is to when compared to the original but rather how you convey the feel and the mood of the subject or the setting. I view sketching as an exercise in observation where I can completely focus on a subject like a tree or a house or a flower and what it feels like to watch these objects and to discover every single shape texture, corner, or curve that makes the subject. This makes me appreciate the object and enables me to create an interesting sketch or painting which is not necessarily accurate but is inspired by the subject. For me, I think it's a good idea to take a break no matter how short, to stand up and view my art from afar. It not only gives my mind and body a break, I can also get my art supplies ready during that time and also formulate a plan before I start painting. For foliage or trees, I prefer warmer greens, so I mix in warm colors like burnt sienna or yellow ochre into my greens. I usually start with a light color as a base, making sure that the paint is watery enough so that it stays wet for a longer time. This is so that I can add in darker shades of green before it dries to create a soft gradient. When the lighter color is done, I just take some of the same green and mix in some darker colors like ultramarine blue to get that darker shade of green. I put in more shadows on the left and at the bottom because light is coming from the right side and above the tree. I then mix an even darker shade of green to intensify some of the shadows. This creates more volume for the object. When I want to change colors, instead of washing the brush in water, I press the water brush that I'm using to push out more water into the bristles and I just clean off the old color with a tissue paper. I changed the color of the pot to a reddish brown color instead of following the original black color of the pot 
This was because I thought that this was a simple sketch and I wanted to create something more interesting and pleasing to look at. Red is the complementary color of green, so putting these two colors together usually makes a more eye-catching combination for a sketch or a painting. At this point, the basic colors and shadows have been established, so it's time to look at my sketch from afar so that I can see where I need to add more shadows or how the shape of the object can be improved upon. This is the part where your sketch really comes to life. Sometimes I feel like giving up halfway because something doesn't look that nice. But then I remember that it's the small touches and the many, many adjustments that make something beautiful. Of course, be careful not to overwork the sketch or it won't look as lively. Knowing when to stop is a skill that takes time to develop, so I think it's very important that we don't try to make a sketch 100% perfect. Another thing that I like to do, and that I saw many artists doing, is to have each color be present in all parts of the painting. Like some of the green can be on the pot, or the brown can be on the stones, and some of the leaves can be brown. So this sort of makes the sketch look a little bit more cohesive and harmonious. Plus, if you look closely, those colors do actually exist in other areas, usually as reflected light. Sketching to me has become something of a meditative practice, which calms my mind down, makes me more focused, and lets me enjoy something seemingly simple but becomes something beautiful once you take time to pay more attention to it. I think that in order for us to be happy as humans on this planet, it's imperative that we are able to enjoy the small things in life and to take time to notice what's right in front of us. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're always feeling stuck like me, why not try sketching? It's really easy and is a great mental exercise for focus. Do like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.